So I finally got around to making the ultimate furnishing guide after all the changes that happened back in November. So this is going to hopefully be a definitive furnishing XP guide with all the math and numbers that'll hopefully be timeless, assuming they don't change crafting again. Now I took like a long time crunching all the numbers on all the possible things you can do to level up. And I've narrowed it down to a few different things that you craft in a certain order in order to save the most amount of money or the most amount of time, you know, that type of thing. Uh, now this whole thing's going to be geared towards the cost of what it, like whatever you're gonna make. And some people are like, well, what if I wanna gather? Well, the reason I give cost is because you could gather something else that makes even more money, sell those items, and then buy the items that you need, assuming they're available in the market at prices somewhat similar to mine. Now, this is not going to be 100% definitive on prices because I was only able to go based off of the average prices right now on my server, and those prices are subject to change in the future uh, with patches and just with inflation, deflation type of thing. So some of the numbers we see in here might not uh, stand the test of time, but they will give you some good ballpark estimates, and I do have the total quantities that you will need to craft if you do go the route that I show in this video. But with all that out of the way, let's jump right into it. So for those of you who know absolutely nothing, you have to go to the workshop. And at the workshop, you can make, to start about halfway through, you can start by making weak incense. There's stains, and then here's all the furniture furniture that I have unlocked. I put in a bunch of recipes for some of these, but there any of the ones that we use recipes for, I will talk about in a second. So here are your options. But let's go ahead and go to a text editor where I threw down all the numbers and did all the math, and we're going to go through that. So I went through everything here that makes any sense at all to craft, and I, what I did was I put the level that it takes to craft it, how much XP it gives, what items it uses, uh, the total cost of each one, and how much XP it gives for each coin that you spend, assuming that you buy the materials for prizes like these. I also subtracted the amount of materials that you get back, so in the case of a sunny rug, it uses 15 linen, but it gives back on average around three. So I just chalked it up as 12 linen per craft in order to uh, counteract that. So that's the type of stuff that I did. So the sunny rug was 19.6 XP per coin. The wicker basket was 15.21 XP per coin. The old straw cot, which the schematics name is just cot, was 23.76 XP per coin. And that was also a level zero thing. So those were all the level zeros. So for starting off, you're always going to want to, if you can get the recipe for cheap and if the materials are affordable, affordable in the market, you're going to want to do the old straw cot, which you can find by searching cot. And then there's a schematic colon space cot. Uh, and that is what probably the best one to do in the beginning, which we'll get to further down in this text editor. So uh, then another one that I looked at was one that's probably going to get patched someday because I feel like this was an oversight that this uses iron ingots. Everything else in this bracket uses, I think it was steel ingots, except for this one, so I feel like it's an anomaly. But, you know, if you're watching this video a year from now and it's still iron ingots, then this is still going to be your go-to one. If they do decide someday that this was a mistake and they did not mean this, uh, then, you know, just kind of check when you go to do this on your, before you buy materials, check, see if they ever fix this. But as of December 25th, 2021, it's been like this since launch. It's been about three months, so we'll see what they do in the future. So anyway, uh, Cherry Sheets Bunk Bed, level 56. It's 1,128 XP per craft. It uses lumber, iron, and maple stain. Now, assuming you buy them all, it's about 35.7 coins, which is 31.6 XP per coin, which makes it better than the old straw cot, at least at these prices. So uh, that's going to be your next go-to probably. But then we looked at the stains. Let's look at every single one of the stains. So we got maple stain. It's level 50. You can make it. It takes 80, It gives 84 XP. It uses 10-week solvent, 4 oil. It costs 7 coins. Gives 12 XP per coin. It's actually terrible. Absolutely terrible to make this one. Now, Oak Stain, on the other hand, you get it at level 100 is when it unlocks. It gives 336 XP. Uses 10 potent solvent, 4 oil. Now, these prices vary a lot, so this one's not always going to be exactly like this. But at the prices, roughly where they are right now on my server, and where they tend to average, it's about 8 coins per stain, or per batch of stain, I should say. And that's 42 XP per coin. So it actually is better than the, the beds. So right when you hit level 100, this is actually the best one to do, but only for a short amount of time. And we'll see why in a minute. Anyway, the mahogany stain is definitely the best one in the game, though. It's so crazy. Uh, once you hit level 150, you unlock mahogany stain. At least at current prices, it's the most insane. So 
1,344 XP, uses 10 pure solvent for oil. Uh, these prices vary a lot. They really vary a lot, but at the current averages and prices I'm seeing on my server, it's about eight coins per batch, which is 168 XP per coin, which is a lot, very, very much. So uh, once you hit 150, that's probably your go-to. Powder horn though, which we've talked about in the past, people said is not good. They feel like, well, now that the price of it's not good. It actually turns out powder horn is still insanely good. So at level 102, so you'll make the, you could make the oak stain uh, all the way from 100 to 102. I excluded it later on just for simplicity, but I mean, ideally you would throw it in for just two levels. Uh, but anyway, powder horn at 102, you can start making it. It's 2,116 XP per craft. It does not use animal horn because that's what you get back when you salvage it, at least when I made this video. Maybe that's subject to change in the future. All this is subject to change in the future. Any of these numbers I'm throwing out, but when I made it, December 25th, uh, 2021. Anyway, 15 gunpowder, which is basically free, at least when I made this video. And then five beeswax, which nowadays seems to hover around five apiece on my server. I've seen it at 10, I've seen it at four, but I see it at five most days when I check. Uh, that's 25. Uh, it's actually, okay, I did not add these together apparently, but it does not add much. It's actually 25.15. So this amount is slightly off. So the numbers down will be slightly off. Oops, but it's not going to be by very much. This is what, like 79 point something now or something like that. Either way, it's around 80 XP per coin. So sorry about that oversight on that, but you guys get the idea. It's right on that number though. Uh, so from 102, you're going to want to start making powder horns if you can get the beeswax at an affordable price. Also, powder horn is a great one if you are farming the materials yourself because beeswax is fairly easy to farm it's kind of kind of fun to farm too in a way uh so that's gonna be your go-to till you get mahogany stain probably but let's take a look at incense so weak incense you unlock it at level 20 gives 24 xp uses timber hyssop cinnamon charcoal hey, on my server at current prices thanks to the cooking aptitude caches cinnamon has come down to almost free in price uh and hyssop seems to stay at 0.3 nowadays we'll see that one varies sometimes though but at current prices and stuff, it's 1.14, which is 21.05 XP per, uh, per, yeah, how much XP per, almost like per craft, per coin. Uh, so it's okay, but it's not, you know, it's all subject to, subject to prices though. So there is a point in time where it could be better than the cot, but just at the prices I was looking at right today and all these times, recent times, I have not seen it be better, but it could be, it's possible. Then we got common incense. You unlock this at level 70. And it is actually better than the bed. So you're probably going to go to the bed. And then once you hit level 70 uh, in furnishing, you're going to move on to incense probably. We'll get down and we'll summarize it all at the bottom. Anyway, it's 96 XP lumber, but then the same hyssop cinnamon charcoal. Uh, my, so my server at current prices uh, at 1.9 per craft, which is 50.52 XP per coin, which is pretty darn good. Uh, so that'll tie you over until you can get to powder horn. Anyway, Strong Incense, which is level 120 unlock. It is 384 XP. It uses a weird wood plank instead of the lumber, uh, but that is extremely expensive compared to the lumber. So it actually brings it up to 6.7 uh, per craft, 6.7 coins per craft, which is only 57.31 XP per coin, which is not as good as the powder horn. Assume you can get beeswax at five or something like that. If beeswax is 10, then this could be better. So check all your prices. And if you're watching this long term in the future, you know, definitely check your prices. But as I said before, uh, and I've said in the past on a lot of my videos, prices vary wildly server to server. So, you know, you really got to double check all the numbers before you go to make something. But this is just a general rough guide that will help you understand the ratios and things you're looking at and stuff. And so you can just adjust accordingly. Now, powerful incense is unlocked at level 170. It you gives 1,280 XP but it uses one ironwood plank, which at least when I made this video was extremely expensive. So uh, it only gives, this costs 19.7 per craft, but it only gives 60, about 65 XP per coin. So it's not better than mahogany stain, at least at current prices. And since it's unlocked after mahogany stain, there's really no point in making it other than if you try to sell it. If you can sell it, I don't know if people buy it or not, but if you could sell it, then maybe it would change because you'd make some money back instead of throwing things on the ground. But otherwise, uh, it's not going to be worth it. So that brings it to a certain summary here. So here's the order. Here's the build order for furnishing. Okay, do them in this order, assuming these prices that I showed. So old straw cot starting at level zero. If you can get the recipe, the schematic, I mean, it gives 23.76 XP per coin. So you start there. Then once you get to level 56, 
you go to the Cherry Sheets bunk bed, which is 31.6 XP per coin. Then starting at level 70, you get to the Common Incense, which is 50.52 XP per coin. Then at level 102, you get to the Powder Horn, which gives 80.64 XP per coin. Now, between these two, you could put an Oak Stain, but it's only for two levels, so I excluded it for simplicity. And then we get to 150, and we are at the Mahogany Stain. It gives 168 XP per coin and is going to be what you do to go the rest of the way. Unless, of course, you're getting beeswax for one coin a piece or something, in which case Powder Horn would actually be better than Mahogany Stain. Now, to level to 200 furnishing, it takes 7,905,375 XP to get there. So what does that mean for all this? Well, here are the numbers. For people who want to gather, if you decide to gather these materials that I've shown for these items... Uh, here's what you're going to need, and if you're going to shop for them, here is what you are going to buy. So, starting off, we have the Old Straw Cots. Uh, it takes 3,107, uh, uh, 31,775 XP to get to level 56, which is 1,324 Old Straw Cots, which is 1,324 Feathers, which is 13.24 coins, and 2,648 Maple Stain, which if you buy it instead of making it, and you manage to get it for 0.5 on average, then it's 1,324 coins, which is a total of 1,337.24 coins to hit level 56. Then we unlock the Cherry Sheets Bunk Bed, and I don't remember if it's a schematic or if you have it by default. If it's a schematic, then you have to go get it, but I think it's in there by default. I don't remember. So anyway, we go on to this one, which is... Uh, the Cherry Sheets Bunk Beds. It actually only takes 28 to go from 56 to 70. Uh, you need 30,800 XP to go from 56 to 70. So that takes 728 Lumber, which is 873.6 coins, 280 Iron Ingots, which is 98 coins, and then 560 Maple Stain, which at 0.5 is 280 coins, for a total of 1,251.6 coins to go from 56 to 70, making cherry sheets bunk beds if the prices look like this. But then next up is going to be the common incense. Now, this is unlocked at level 70, and you'll do it all the way to 102. To go between level 70 and 102, it takes 138,480 XP. So that'll take you 1,443 lumber, one, or well, it's 1,443 common incense, which is 1,443 lumber, which is 1,070 blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stop going into detail. You guys get the point of the, how I'm doing this now. 1,443 hyssop, 1,443 cinnamon, and 1,443 charcoal. The total cost is 2,741.7 coins to get to level 102 from 70 using common incense at the prices that I'm seeing on my server. Now, next up is going to be the powder horns. So for powder horns, uh, for this level bracket, we're going to be going 102 all the way to 150, which is 1 million... 48,320 XP. So that's 520 powder horns, which is 7,800 gunpowder, which is only 78 coins, and then 2,600 beeswax, which is going to vary wildly, but if it was five apiece, that would be 13,000 coins of beeswax, which is in total, in total at these prices would cost 13,078 XP to go from 102 to 150. But that leaves us with one last level bracket. Which is this one. So, uh, it takes 6,656,000 XP to go from level 150 to 200. Now, we will do that using Mahogany Stain. It takes To do this, it takes 4,953 Mahogany Stain crafts. Now, it'll make a different amount than that because these batches give like 10 or 4 or something like that. I don't remember the exact number. It's either 10 or 4, I think. Uh, so, it's not that many stains. It's that many crafting attempts for the stains. Uh, and then, that's going to cost... 49,530 pure solvent, which is 20, at, at 0.6, is 29,718 coins. And then it's going to take 19,812 oil, which at 0.5 each is 9,906 coins. In total, that'll cost, if you buy everything, 39,624 coins. So, the total cost, if you buy everything at these prices, to level to 200 is going to be around 58,032.54 coins, which is not nearly as bad as it used to be. If you did this back in October and November, it probably would have cost 200,000 coins because prices were so stupid. Uh, but anyway, the total mats, though, 
Now, for people who go, okay, I don't care how long it takes. I just want to gather all the mats myself. All right, well, I added all the mats together to do all of these things, uh, excluding schematics. Uh, schematics assume you buy or you find or something. I didn't add them in this list. I'm looking at the, the materials, though. So, and the schematics would be the uh, the cot and the powder horn would be the only schematics. I'm, unless that cherry sheets bunk bed uses a schematic. So anyway, so we're going down to this. We got this big list here. So uh, I would highly recommend buying the feathers because they're so cheap. But if you want to get them yourself, you can go to Turkey Nest north of Windsward, south of Everfall over in the ruins. Or you can go kill a bunch of turkeys and it'll take forever. Uh, and then maple stain. Well, to get maple stain, you're going to have to loot supply caches and supply chests and level like... What is it, like 35 to 45 areas or something like that? And then iron ingots, that's not bad. 280 iron ingots is like nothing. And then the lumber, be kind of a pain in the butt to do yourself, but it's going to be 2,171 lumber. Hisop's easy, that will be easy. 1,443 hisop. The cinnamon getting yourself, though, would not be so easy. I would definitely recommend buying it, but if you want to get it, I can't remember where to get it, but it's going to be off of hisop plants in a certain one biome. Was it Monarch's Bluffs, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, charcoal, 1,443 charcoal. That's not so bad to gather by yourself. And then 7,800 gunpowder would be absolute hell to get by yourself. Uh, not really absolute hell, but it would just take a long time compared to buying with how cheap it is. It is 0 0.01, and it might take many hours, like 4, 8, 12. I don't know the exact number. It would take a, a decent number of hours to farm all that by yourself. Because you need to farm those at Flint and Saltpeter, I think, were the ones. Anyway, uh, you'll need 2,600 beeswax, which if you were farming, let's say, the reek water route that I posted on this YouTube, if you were farming that and it was completely uncontested somehow, then you could probably get this one done in, I don't know, like eight hours or something. But the real issue, is go if you're doing it all yourself, is going to be the pure solvent and the oil. This will take, I don't even know how long, this will take freaking forever to do uh, if you were just running supply cash loops in... Uh, was it Reek Water, Ebon Scale, and Shattered? Uh, but that's what, that's what you're looking at. 49,530 pure solvent. Now, the oil wouldn't actually be that bad. I think you get the oil done like 5 hours or something, maybe. Uh, maybe 10 hours. Probably 10 hours. I don't know, 5 to 10 hours, somewhere in that range, if you did it like Weavers or something. Uh, so 19,812 oil. So that is what it takes. These mats are what it takes to do the optimal route, furnishing level 0, to level 200 so if you need to write that stuff down okay that's it right there you can always reference this video if you need to uh, I know it's kind of a long video but it's not so bad just write down the URL somewhere and then you can come back if you need a reference this list or just again just write it down on a notepad or something and save it on your computer so that you have this list now just to show you again it was going to be caught cot schematic old straw caught oh they actually oh they changed it I was wrong it used to just be caught Okay, in the last patch, one of the last patch, one of the secret changes in one of these last patches, they actually gave it the full name. Uh, okay, that's cool. It's Old Straw Caught now. It used to just be Schematic Caught, which was really weird. Uh, and then the other one is Powder Horn, Schematic Powder Horn, which is going to be expensive if you decide to buy it. So uh, it depends. You know, some servers it'll be affordable. Some servers it'll be insane. So uh, that, is, that is what to expect for schematics like this. Oh, and apparently the Cherry Sheets Bunk Bed is a schematic I looked. But it is, at least on my server, extremely cheap, so it must be very common from somewhere. But there you have it. That is my full furnishing guide. Hopefully this one will withstand the test of time. Probably not, though, because at some point they will change some things and then everything will change. Maybe they'll change beeswax drops. Maybe they'll change how uh, schematics drop. Maybe they'll change, you know, this material, that material, or they'll change how much... Or they'll redo crafting again someday. I mean, back in November, if you're unfamiliar with the past... Uh, November of 2021, they completely reworked the crafting system, changed how much XP everything needed, changed how much XP everything gave. So it, the whole system got a complete rework. So if they do that again, this uh, guide will not withstand the test of time. But I tried to make it as extensive as possible. I, as far as I'm aware, I covered everything. Uh, if I forgot anything, feel free to comment. Let me know. Maybe I'll try to remember to pin a comment with any details that I exclude on accident. But to the best of my knowledge, that is the best way to level furnishing in New World 1.2.1. Starting in 1.1 is when this, when this all became the best way. So hopefully that'll be the best way forever. Now you know the best way to level up furnishing as far as I'm aware. Fastest possible route, cheapest route, most efficient route. Uh, and now you can get out there and get your furnishing 200 for as cheap as possible or as quickly as possible depending on which way or which combination of ways that you would like to do it. Now if you found this video helpful, be sure to consider subscribing to this channel 
because I need to finish all these guides. Now I've got, when I posted this, I had weaponsmithing done. Now I've got furnishing done. I really got to try to work up the motivation to get all the other ones done. But I want to get one like this for every single one and then one for refining in general and then one for all the other ones like uh, fishing and logging, et cetera, et cetera. I'm looking forward to doing that in the future. So if that sounds interesting, you consider subscribing. I also do New World News, gold guides, money farming routes, chest farming routes, stuff like that. So uh, that is what to expect from this YouTube. But now you know the fastest, best ways level furnishing. Good luck, guys. Go out there and get that furnishing 200.